call the <coughs> Monday, December 17th, regular council meeting to order. Will the clerk call the, or uh, read the quote of the day, please? Thank you. Christmas gift suggestions. To your enemy, forgiveness. To an opponent, tolerance. To a friend, your heart. To a customer, service. To all, charity. To every child, a good example. To yourself, respect. Thank you. Clerk, call the roll, please. <coughs> Fifteen present. Quorum is present with Alderman Kaff being excused. excused. Uh, can you all, before we do the Pledge of Allegiance, please join me in a moment of silence for the 26 victims of the Connecticut shooting. Um, let's all rise for a moment of silence. Thank you. Alderman Lassard, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Alderman Hammond, approval of minutes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I um, move to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Is there any additions or changes? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Corey. 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 <laughs> 15 eyes. Motion carries. <clears throat> Mayor's appointments. Steve. Members of the council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Peter Federer to be considered for appointment to the Historic Preservation Housing Rehabilitation Loan Commission to fill the unexpired term of Jonathan Dolson, whose term expires 4-22-2013, signed by the mayor. That will lie over. City Clerk, is there anybody for the public forum tonight? Uh, yes, this evening we have two. First on the list is Milt Storm. Milt, if you could come up to the front, please. <clears throat> Milt, can I have your home address? Yes, it's 1736 Marvin Court. And you will have five minutes, sir. I want to thank uh, the mayor and uh, Sue's department for extending me this opportunity to again address the council. And I want to also again talk on the proverbial garbage fee which I paid today. Generally, I pay my bills in person. And I, one of the reasons I do that at the water department because those are some very nice girls over there that are really savvy with their computer system. I still am waiting for an opportunity to discuss the Finance Committee, how they ever came up with the idea with a $7.16 uh, fee for one month, and now they have reduced it for 2013 to five. I think if I recall correctly, I had mentioned that a reduction of a little bit more for $2 or $3 would be more appropriate from the five. I feel that all seniors, over 72 years of age who have owned their own home, and some of who may rely only on Social Security, could receive a waiver or a reduction in the garbage fee. I have about uh, one garbage bag a month, or a week. Now this week, I think it's been two weeks, I haven't put out any garbage, it's all in the garage yet. But I'm gonna load them up on Thursday. With, I learned today with Social Security, at my age, anybody can make uh, as much income as they want uh, without having to pay a penalty. Some good news for Bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, well, we can't help that we both are rich guys, so what difference does it make? 
I believe that if you believe what I'm saying that about the richness, you know, you're very gullible too. The next thing that I would like to mention of your concern is that our Neighbors Against Drugs has closed their books on its organization, and I was a little disappointed with that. But Sheriff Preby said that we could keep our heads high and be proud for having started something that the, now that the police department has taken over. And I sure want to thank Chief Demogalski and his police department for the ability they will be of going into neighborhoods and uh, trying to clean up that. In fact, I was one of the original volunteers with uh, Todd Preby and uh, our assistant attorney, Chuck Adams, to start the Gateway neighborhood. Now, I've always tried to be neighborly, and I think I do that credit to my mother, who, who had uh, a picture from the Wisconsin agriculturist and farmer on our huge kitchen wall. We had one of the uh, large farms up there. And it was a, a picture of a farmer with a sigh in his hand, and he was leaning across the wooden fence and uh, talking to his neighbor. And this is what it said. Sort of does a fellow good to sit and talk a spell, to learn how things are getting on and if the folks are well. Seems as twelve it wouldn't be much fun without a friend like you to enjoy myself now and then, just to talking to. And that's what I think when you meet your police officers that come to your neighborhood, ask, be a little friendly and be a little neighborhood, and I'm sure they will appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, Milt. Next would be Mike Brunette. Mike, can I get your home address, please? 1925 South 26th Street. And you will have five minutes, sir. All right. Um, I don't know if it's because of the end of the year and the end of the budget, or if it's the budding of new politics or whatever, but it seems to be the fire department is about to be in the news, more or less, again, because of the fact that um, there's a, a proposal for a, for a, for a study not for a study, but uh, there's a, the mention of a, re a restructuring in ways um, by recommending that the new fire, the, the new firefighters won't be EMTs. And I, and I don't know, this is part of a hybrid um, paid on call firefighter system. And there's also the old st study that asking just for a study, which got shelved, but right now you have a couple of different factions going forth with things, and I know that, and um, my big question is what, what is the future? Do we have a real plan for the fire department? Or is this just a make a run at them and just politicize it all, or are we going to try to gel around what really needs to get done? And I'm really on this one, I'm confused because we keep on bringing it up, and it's, and it's one of those, I think it's time to, that we get some more information out there. And I know that's what both parties are kind of asking, but I think the discussion has to really, really gel and fir firm up, and that's all I have. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. That would be it. Next, we have a public hearing for the zoning map change for use of district classification and for property at 1020 Superior. Anyone wishing to be heard? Anyone wishing to be heard? Anyone wishing to be heard? Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I move to close the hearing. Second. Then move and second to close the hearing. Clerk will call the roll. Fifteen ayes. Motion carried. Consent agenda three one through three twenty two. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again. I move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Then move and seconded to accept mm -hmm. all ROs, accept and pass all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Under discussion, Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would like to request that. Um, Item number 3.12 be pulled and uh, addressed separately. Item 3.12? Yes. 
All right, we'll pull 3.12 and vote on that separately first. Under discussion for 3.12. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I originally uh, put this um, request forward and the intent of this uh, to uh, address a previous comment, Mike, was that um, I don't want to take a run at the fire department. What I want to do is take the politics and the biases out of it and see if we can't uh, come up with a plan, a long-term plan for the fire department. And uh, I've talked to the chief and uh, in my discussions with him and in his public comments a couple weeks ago uh, at uh, the council, he mentioned that the previous two chiefs uh, have requested a formal study and that wasn't done and uh, he's in favor of, of having a study done um, if it will put all this uh, contentiousness to rest and we can come up with a plan and uh, actually look at doing some things long term that uh, would be in the best interest of the taxpayers. And what I find um, uh, somewhat confusing is uh, how this comes out of the committee with the recommendation to file when all it is is a request for proposal. There's no cost associated with this. We All we are doing is putting this out to um, recommended uh, third party mm -hmm. vendors and have them come back and give us a price on what it would cost for a formal study. So there's no, there's no action being done here other than requesting a price to see what the formal study would be. It, was, it would be my hope that this would, uh, you know, we would move this forward. Uh, we would go against the committee's recommendation to file. We would get an RFP going forward and we would discuss and vet the merits of a study of a fire department uh, on the council floor. Um, you will see later in the meeting that there are two other documents, resolutions, uh, that other aldermen have put forward coming forth with the fire department. Um, I haven't looked at them in any great depth. They may be great ideas, they may not be, um, you know, but uh, that is to be determined. But I would think that a third party independent um, organization that we would contract out to would, you know, have the expertise to put a plan together for us and then we could look and see if we want to follow or what steps of that plan we'd want to follow. But um, to shoot down a request for proposal just to get pricing to see what this would cost, I find it you know, rather uh, unacceptable to come out of committee with that recommendation. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Bellinger. Any other, just Alderman Bourne. <coughs> uh, thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I had the opportunity one, to read- One second, Alderman Bourne, first there. Thank you. I had the opportunity to read over this draft and uh, for the request for proposals, and then I also had a chance to read over some of the questions that we were going to be asking the uh, the firm that we hired. Uh, some of the questions here that were, were going to be asked for the uh, company that we hired to evaluate. Uh, however, there was you know, there was really nothing in here that asked for really any, what could we do to, for innovations for our fire department? Uh, what, you know, are we, are we costing out, for example, uh, in a recommended manner, how we cost out the ambulance service, how we, how we delegate uh, the personnel of the fire department and cost that out as far as the ambulance service is concerned. Uh, another question that I would have in there, is it financially viable for the uh, city of Sheboygan to continue being in the ambulance business when we're not meeting financial expectations and we have a private provider in this town that could provide the service. So if I was to vote to go ahead with this, I certainly would want a few more questions than are in here because most of the questions in here that, that I, as far as I'm concerned, are no more than fluff. Uh, it's going to be garbage in and garbage out. It doesn't ask any tough questions along the line that I, you know, of the ones I just mentioned. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Uh Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think one of the things that confused the committee was because there's no resolution behind this proposal. Even the uh, purchasing agent at the meeting, when he looked at that, he said he was a little bit confused because there was no... Uh, uh, actual resolution uh, backing the thing up, and perhaps Alderman Ballinger would reconsider and uh, draw 
your resolution up and then send it back to committee and it may get a uh, better reaction. Thank you. Alderman Van Acker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just to address uh, some of Alderman Bellinger's concerns from the committee level, um, as Alderman Wangeman stated, uh, the purchasing agent indicated that he didn't have a resolution. He simply had the communication saying he needed to draft a plan. So that's what he did and that's what he submitted to us. If uh, the council would like to move forward with a resolution or yourself or others would like to move forward with a resolution asking him to put that plan into action, he said he would need that. So his, uh, his request was simply to come up with a, a draft of what he would send out. However, he did indicate to the committee he would need a resolution from us uh, to put that into action. So that's why you're getting um, a motion to file from the committee is simply that's what we asked him for. He's, he's done that, he's submitted that to us and now we'll put that in our files. And again, if we wanna move forward with that or bring something forward in reference to this, we certainly can do so. But that's, that's the reason for the motion to file. Any other discussion? I heard somebody beep, but it didn't light up. Alderman Lassard. I think another reason why this was voted to um, file is the cost involved in this particular study is going to range anywhere between $100,000 and $150,000. And it is not my recommendation to approve it. Also, there has not been a study done on any department in this city. There's been a study on the HR department in the county. I don't know why we're singling out the fire department doesn't make sense to me. So if you're gonna be doing studies, I'm still gonna stand behind. Every department should be as scrutinized as the fire department. And we don't have the 150,000 to pay for the study to begin with. <coughs> and I don't think that we would move on recommendations if we needed more firemen or if we needed more fire equipment. <coughs> I don't see you, I don't think you'd find a vote in this, this um, council to approve that. So I would not support this. Thank you. Any other discussion? Any other discussion? <clears throat> Recommendation is to accept and file the committee report. Clerk will call the roll on 312. Ten ayes, five noes. The motion carries. Now we'll be voting on the rest of the consent agenda, 131 through 322. Is there any discussion? Clerk will call the roll. Give me a second to get back to the consent. Dave. <clears throat> Dave. Thanks. Fifteen eyes. Motion carried. 4 1 through 4 11 will all be referred. Hmm. 4 1. No. 4 1 is acting on. I'm sorry. 4 1. Thank you. You're welcome. Resolution from the development manager requesting the A Street boat launch closure be extended to June 15th, 2013. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to accept and file. Second. It's been moved and se seconded to accept and file. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. Now, 4-2 through 4-11 will be referred. 5-1 resolution by Alderman Hammond ordering 2013 budget appropriation for the city water utility. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again. I uh, first off would move to suspend the rules. Second. It's been moved and seconded to suspend the rules. Any discussion under suspension? Three none, vote on suspension only. Fifteen ayes. Motion carried. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again. Um, I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to put the resolution upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, clerk will call the roll. Fifteen ayes. Motion carries. 5-2, we're going to hold to 4-7-2. 5-3 through 5-5 five, five, to all be referred. 
six one report from salary and grievance recommending extending residency requirements. Alderman Riesler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, Do we need to suspend for that too or not? Was that the other one I was looking at? I'm sorry, what? Do we need to suspend the rules for that one or not? That one can go. Uh, no, it's just except for that down. I don't think I so. Don't no? think so. It's okay. just a report of committee. I'd move that the report of committee be put on its passage and accepted and adopted. It's been Second. moved in. Second. Seconded to have the committee report be accepted and adopted. Is there any discussion? Your non clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 6 2 report a committee from law and license even recommending denying taxi cab driver <laughs> license 9490. 9491. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the committee report be accepted and adopted. Alderman Vanderwilly under discussion. Is Regina Ramirez here this evening? She is not here. We did invite her to two meetings and she did not appear before the committee. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 6 3 reported committee from law and licensing recommending denying taxi license number 9789, Alderman Van Hoel. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Under discussion, Alderman Van Hoel. Is Chantel Bergen here this evening? She's not here. Um, same situation. She was invited to our meeting um, two different times and she did not show up. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 6 4 law and license, and you recommending denying beverage operator license 7934, Alderman Vanderwood. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Under discussion, Alderman Vanderwood. Is Eric Schrader here this evening? He is not. Um, same situation, invited twice and did not appear. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 6-5 from law and licensing recommending denying taxi driver's license number 7760, Alderman Van. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Under discussion, Alderman Van. Is Brenda Valerio here this evening? She is not. She also was invited to two meetings and did not appear. Any other discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the rule. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 6-6 six, six, report from law and licensing recommending denying beverage lap operator license number 9676, Alderman Vanderwood. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Move and seconded that the committee report be accepted and adopted under discussion. Is Hannah Gustafson here this evening? She is not and same thing with her. She did not appear the two times we invited her. Any other discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 6 7 report from law and licensing recommending taxi cab license number 9791. Alderman Vanderwood. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted under discussion. <clears throat> Is Angel. Angel Estevez here? She is not. Um, same thing, did not appear to both of our meetings. Thank you, Alderman Vanderbilt. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 6 8 recommend the <coughs> committee report from finance recommending authorizing the borrowing up to $3 million for the sale of water utility bonds. <coughs> Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and adopt the committee report and put the resolution upon its passage. Is there any discussion? 
Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 6-9 committee report from finance transferring appropriations in the 2012 budget. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I move to put the uh, report of committee, or accept and adopt the report of committee and put the resolution upon its passage. Okay. It's been moved and accepted to, it's been moved and seconded to accept and file the committee report and pass the resolution. Is there any discussion? Is there any none? Clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 7 1 ordinances introduced by Alderman Heideman. Born Wangaman amending municipal code related to sewer and sewage disposal. Alderman Heideman. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I, didn't, I need a motion to suspend the rules. Second. It's been moved and seconded to suspend. Any discussion on suspension well, only? The reason we need a suspension is so that they can set the rates before the first of the year, and the budget had to be passed before <coughs> they could set the rates. <coughs> Thank you. On suspension only, we'll take the vote first. Oh. 15 ayes. Now we need to motion on the ordinance. I move the resolution, resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Been moved and seconded that the ordinance be put upon its passage. All, any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Oh. That's okay. We'll put you in. Okay. Did you put um, Scott? Push in. <laughs> I see what you did in mine. Seven two. Okay. Seven two for orange from Alderman Raisler. Many in the municipal code relating to residency of department heads. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Ask that we take seven uh, two along with five two. And uh, mm. motion to suspend the rules. Second. I think we need to pass the resolution first. No, we need to pass the ordinance first. But you're looking to pass. You're looking to do the suspension on both. Yes. We okay. can do that first. So we're going to suspend the rules for both, and then we'll vote on separate. Okay. Yep. Any discussion on suspension only? Suspension on the rules on both items. Okay. Oh, thanks. Quick call for all. <laughs> Sorry. Joe. Okay, 15 ayes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. For 7 2, I'd move that the uh, ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Under discussion, all of them more. <clears throat> thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I don't, have an, I don't have a problem with these extensions at all, but. Uh, I thought we had. I thought we already had something on the books for an extension. Was that just a resolution, Attorney McLean, and now we're changing it to an ordinance, or what was the status? Because I, I know we came up with this a couple of years ago, when our uh, well, a couple of department heads had difficulty selling their houses, which we certainly could understand. Uh, the current there's current ordinance for department heads uh, that requires residency for those that are appointed by the mayor and confirmed by the council. Uh, there was a provision a couple of years ago that provided for one 90-day hardship extension. Okay. And uh, there's a need to go beyond the one 90-day hardship extension. So this would provide for uh, additional extensions at the council's prerogative for 90-day periods without limiting it to just to one. Thank you. Any other discussions? Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you. Clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. Now the resolution. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, under 5 2, I'd move that the uh, resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded on 5 2 that the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Mayor, could I just have you re vote for a suspension on 5 2 before we do that? So I can have a record? Okay. I thought we took them both, but. Well, I've got them on separate slides. Okay. So we're going to vote on suspension on 5-2 Thank you. for the record. Okay, 15 ayes. Motion carried. Now that it's suspended, we'll take the motion yep, to pass. for passage. If there's no discussion, clerk will call the roll. 
and 15 ayes. Motion carried. Thanks. By through for 5-5 five, five will be <coughs> referred. I'm sorry. 7-2. 7-3. 7-3. 7-3. Three. Seven, seven, three. Seven, three, seven, seven, four, and 7-5 will be sent to public protection and safety rather than public works. Right. Correct? Yes. Matters laid over. RO and general ordinance 38, 12, 13, amending the zoning map for location of 1020 Superior Avenue. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm accepting file the RO and pass the res or pass the ordinance. Okay. It's been moved and seconded to accept and adopt the RO and pass the ordinance. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 8-2, general ordinance from Alderman Van Akron, Carlson, Heidemann, Lassard, and Wangaman amending the municipal code to bring up to date with state code changes. Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would move that the general ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the general ordinance be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. <coughs> 15 ayes. Motion carried. Other matters? Attorney McLean. 9.1 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2013 and June 30, 2014. That will go to law and licensing. And 9.2 is a resolution directing the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee to meet and establish goals, objectives, and timeline for the 2014 budgeting process <coughs> and beyond. That will strategic. go to strategic. Yep. Before we go into, we're going to go into closed session. I don't think we're coming back after. No. Um, wish everybody a happy holidays, both in the community and on, on the council floor. And Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to convene in the closed session under the exemption provided in section 19.851E Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of deliberating the possible sale of property public property where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. It's been moved and seconded to go into closed session. Is there any discussion? If you're none, clerk will call the roll. 15 ayes. Motion carried. We'll take a five minute recess and come back into closed session. Okay. <laughs>